Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Flux of FluxWithIt.com, and I just want to show you a quick tip with Pigments. Uh, Pigments is the new wavetable slash virtual analog synth from Arturia. Uh, but one of the really great things that this thing can do is, uh, in addition to using the wavetables that are provided with the synth, you can actually just load up any wave file. And um, if you load a .wav and just drop it in there, it works. You don't have to fiddle around with it. And there's some cool things that you can do with that. So first thing you need to know is that you simply click on the little icon here and then go to imported. And then once you go there, you can click this little wave here. And there you go. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm literally loading a beat, all right? So these are demo tracks that I'm working on for an expansion pack for uh, the Akai MPC. And I'll hit close. And now you can see the whole beat is, uh, the, the beat is right here in the wavetable window. Now what I've done is I've taken a LFO and I've kind of created a, um, a saw wave right here. And if you click the little unipolar here, all right, this way nothing's negative on it. It's just going positive, all right? And I have my symmetry up and my phases at 50. So I have that modulating the position of the wavetable, which means that when I press a key, this is going to scroll right through that sample. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, obviously, right now it's playing it really fast. So you go to your sync. Let's bring that down to about 4 to 1. And you can hear that beat playing in there. Um, and as you play it up and down the keys, it'll kind of change how, <coughs> excuse me, change how it's sounding. And it can make it more granular or less granular. If I go high, you're going to hear more granularity to it. If I play low. Okay, now, let's have some fun with that. Let's go in here and we'll grab, uh, here's just a vocal sample of me talking into the mic. And we're going to bring the rate back up to about one to one. Check it out. And because we're raising with that LFO, you can actually hear me talking right in there. So you can kind of add rhythmic elements, speech, whatever you want in there. Uh, on this other one here, this engine, I've gone ahead and I've sampled my Mutable Instruments braids oscillator, and I just kind of swept through the vowel, which is pretty cool. Now, if you go into the modulation lanes here, let's say I take LFO2, right, and I modulate LFO1 with LFO2, and we'll modulate the waveform a bit. Notice how it jumps around that waveform a good bit? Well, you can apply that to the speech. So let's go back over here and turn this on. Now as you sync that and change different rates, it's almost like you're scratching a sample. If I get rid of these modulations... So anyway, that's just a really quick tip on using pigments. This is Flux of FluxWithIt.com. Keep an eye out for Synth Cave Volume 1 for the MPC um, 2.3. Peace.